Hello and welcome back. All right, so let's uh, let's try and wrap this shit up, shall we? Alfred! Hey, where's Lady Arkham? Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. Shit. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Um, let's look at the fireplace. Or actually, let's look at the scuff marks. A scuff mark? What could have caused this? Furniture? Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Ash everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Yeah, this doesn't look good. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Um. Oh, hello? Busted vase? Vase was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Shitty. Pool cue. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Oh it shit! So yeah, it was. Hard, it broke in half. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. The pool cue. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Broken lock. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. Ah, uh, so that. Oh, it doesn't connect. Fire poker. Hello? Oh. Like that. Like this. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Okay, that's hello? Must have used the concussion blast from her stab to try and stop Alfred. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there.
password reckoning. You have no idea. I was gonna say that, piece by piece. They always fucking say that. Alfred. Oh my god. Vicky will pay for this. Will pay for this. I'll make sure of that. Look at what she's doing to him. All right. Well then, let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he oh, knows shit. the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Let's use cowl VR. Freeze Simon Cowl VR. Games. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Oh. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Camera. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs, Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Water heater. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. Huh. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Can we just... Oh, Lady Ar Arca. Hello. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Oh, hello? A basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. I think we have way more than enough. This should be fine. Can we just find the bus stops? Alright. Let's just go with basements first, I guess. Repair These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Build here. All homes built on that date. And now we'll get the look bus for the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Oh shit! Let's take a look Corner at it. Store seems unlikely. Yeah, why not? Bowling alley. <sighs> Damn it! Let's keep looking. What about this one? You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. What about According the to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. Actually. Oh, hello. One of the early prototypes. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that. It doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Can I not suit up? Good okay, call. I'll just equip it. You, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals.
this ends tonight. I can't believe the children of Arkham crossed the place that you're not supposed to cross. Right. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Uh -oh. oh shit. Batman. I'm all right. That's a good trap. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Let's take a look at the blood spl splatter. The blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. The chair. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Um, what else? Oh, blood trail. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged down. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the veils have a false wall in their basement? That sounds sketchy as fuck. We already know that they're not good people. Let's kick it down. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. Is this the punishment the small room? room? With oh, a hole is... in the floor. Weird. Rope ladder. Rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Let's pull it. All right, let's go down. I'm going inside. Oh, this is the punishment room. This is what the kid meant. Oh shit. Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky. She was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? No wonder Vicky is consumed with hate. It's all she's ever known. I can't even imagine. But it doesn't give her the right to take it out on others. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. Um, let's look at the belt. The belt. It's caked in blood. Or the doll? Can I use it? Ugh. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. There are Let's drawings. Look at the drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. Shackles. The shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. Bloody, Bloody scratches. Fine. Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. 
Alfred? No. Oh. Let's take a look at the fresh blood this first. This blood is fresher than the rest. Must be Alfred's. And his glasses. Alfred's glasses. From the others. Purple. Let's look for the purple. Same color as my tack. Can be a coincidence. Oh. Maybe that drawing looks like Alfred. Interesting. That's what how he draws. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I like his art style. Behind Let's take a look at this. Oh, he's taking him to Arkham. Wait, is it good that I put I put two face in Arkham? This is what he wanted me to find. To see, he's modified one of her own Lady Arkham drawings to include himself, and these two words, to Arkham. The chief going to Arkham, and she's taking Alfred with her. It's the final piece, Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, uh -oh. and she took Alfred with her. And that's just gonna release Two Face. I'm on it. Lady Arkham will be expecting us. Maybe I should have had him go back to the prison. That's a good, like, Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum kind of, like, look to it. I like the design. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends Man. now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Alfred is innocent. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course he's a part of this. He's the one man Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Besides himself, his suffering will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I've been to your home. I've seen where the veils kept you. People like them. They deserve to be behind bars. Behind bars? They deserved and got far worse than that. Even if they did, no one else needs to die. You're wrong! You're wrong! Run out.
It's kind of funny, um, Bruce and his dad have something in common. Oh! Oh, hello! They have something in common that's they put all these men in, in Arkham Asylum. Children of Arkham, did you see her? They went. Oh, shit. Him with the folding chair. Hell yeah. That's how we do things around here. Look at the taser. Hell yeah. Lady Arkham. We'll wait till the light fixture. There we go. That should be good. Oh, hi. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that 
Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly? Oh. <laughs> they speak the through music. the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Oh, shit. Damn, how many floors did we just fall down? Vicky! <laughs> You've already You've lost. Already lost, Vicky. Come out and surrender. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, we're not going to let her. You have to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind this 12 inch thick wall. Why should I trust you? Right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Zach. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Oh, shit. Oh my god, the needles. Stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. But we're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. There's a better Those way. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than you? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, blaming other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy. Oh, shit. How are there so many traps here? I don't understand. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I want to. It's who I am, who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Mask is a symbol. The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath it. Where the fuck did she go? Oh, hello? Why do we have, like, the French catacombs in underneath Arkham Asylum? Like, I don't understand what the fuck is going on here. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... You... You came... You came for me. Uh, yeah, I did. After what you said, I knew you'd come. 
The man. The man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. Such concern. For someone you've never met before. At least someone we can talk. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. That man told you. Shut up, old man. You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Oh. Let me see the man you really are. Fine. If that's what it will take to see. some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Shit. That was a hard hit. You 
alone in this place, Bruce. Lost. Forgotten. Buried. And Gotham will not mourn. The sins of the Wayne bloodline end here. Oh, shit. Bop. Save Alfred. Let's just bury Lady Arkham in this shit. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. Oh, you give me the drink. The public knew the half of it. Oh, no, it's to, from Lucius. It's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Oh, so, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything that's, that's been right. going on, I... <laughs> I thought that was I the Joker for a second. I have gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain. God, she took my secret to the grave. He took my secret to the grave. But you couldn't have known that would happen. No. But what's done is done. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. Damn, he has like a, just fucking a hole in his ear now. Look at the we fuck. We will get through this, Bruce. That's weird. Don't lose sight of the fact that <laughs> so you've done some weird. real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I can't take all I the credit. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? remains to be seen but experts agree that Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him leaders like you let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is and let them know what you plan to do for his future well, this could be a fresh start for you and for this city though in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend.
Thanks, Alfred. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Um. Perhaps one is truly the mask. One is who you truly believe you are. I think Alfred's right. We should go as... Or, I don't think he's really saying what's right, but, like, I do see way more good. We still have to clear our name. I mean, like, people still see me as the guy that attacked the, the CEO for Wayne Tech that was coming on board. Like, I don't... All they know is that Bruce Wayne attacked the acting CEO after he had to was forcibly step down and then he was sent to Arkham and then GCPD removed him from Arkham like less than 48 hours later and they didn't explain why maybe they haven't at some point but with all the shit going on I don't think they have I think he needs to attend as Bruce and get some goodwill back because I don't think I'll, like you saw how the people acted around Bruce before let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Besides, like, Batman shouldn't be showing up to anything, like, legitimate like that. He should just be going to, like, just actually doing, taking care of business and shit. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. <laughs> What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours loss like that I wouldn't blame you for lying low what you did is no secret these people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy public opinion is bound to swing around well, before long you'll be Gotham's golden boy again these people they have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. Well, too bad he's not here. Wouldn't mind meeting him. Yeah? <laughs> well, he's not much of a talker. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. No 
Alex, I he's love my father. father. But nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man. Heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, a better Arkham Asylum. I am ceasing construction on the Wayne Mental Health Facility. Instead, I'll be devoting all my resources to improving the existing Arkham Asylum. It will be the most advanced mental health treatment facility in the country, in keeping with the vision of its founders. Oh shit, what the fuck? delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. What's up with that handlebar? <laughs> See you soon. Sooner than you might think, actually. Because there's a sequel to this game. And I'm guessing it's gonna probably revolve around the the Joker. Um but yeah. So let's take a look and see how we did. Alright, so most players were able to distract the penguin long enough for going to get the job done. Interesting. I wonder what happens if you don't. Like what what would happen if you don't? Holy shit. Did you blame Alfred for his involvement with Thomas Wayne? Um, you win 27.7% of players told Alfred it did matter who was at fault. All that matters is fixing the problem. Most players said it was players comforted Alfred that he was not to blame. I do kind of blame him. I mean, like... He's not, it's not like he's not to blame, but like at this point, it's just kind of like there's so many moving factors. That's just kind of like, okay, whatever. Like, I do think it's more, like, the whole Thomas Wayne thing, like, that that's his bad, you know? Like, that's Thomas Wayne's fault. Alfred knew about it and didn't really stop it. He was planning on leaving employment and just being like, I can't do this anymore. Like, that's, I've had enough. Um, and, and I get that, but... He could have done something. He could have at least done something. Like, even he was mentioning, like, Martha Wayne, like, going to her and, like, trying to, like, deal with it. But he didn't. He literally waited until they both died. Um, so I, I'm ha Like, I don't want to put complete, like, blame on him being like, it's all your fault. But, you know, it's not like you... You weren't blameless. Did you respond to Selena? Yeah, most people said she's more than a thief. Well, that makes sense. She did save Bruce's It's like hard to say that she's just a thief if she saved Bruce's life, you know? I mean, maybe that's just the, part of the long con, but I doubt it. Did you take off the cowl? Yeah, most people removed the cowl. Did you attend Gordon's address as Bruce or Batman? Yeah, most showed up as Bruce. Makes sense to me. Oh shit, go to my season overview. Oh shit, hello? Um, I'm compassionate. 
the the crusader to defend Gotham is about helping people, being a beacon of hope in a dark world. To use one's strength to lift people up instead of just beating villains down. So, um, mainly merciful, like very merciful, rather than brutal. Um, pretty cunning. I actually, my I'm pretty like I'm more cunning than honest, but like it's pretty fifty-fifty. Um, and then I'm, I work with others well. I'm very collaborative. I don't really see the option of being self-reliant on a lot of those. What were the self-reliant options? Interesting. Very interesting. No, oh, nothing more? Alright. Well, shit. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, or, you know, you. Probably just you singular one person that's watching this. Um, I had a good time with it. It's, you know, it's like... It's like getting a pizza in, like, some backwoods nowhere town, you know? It's still pizza. It's still good. I don't know if I thought it was great, but... It's interesting. I am curious to see how the next game, how the choices I made in this game will affect the next game. Like the whole owing the Joker a favor. I think that's gonna bite me in the ass, but we'll see. We'll, we'll come back to this game eventually. I don't know if it's gonna be the next game we play, but it'll definitely be one of the next, I think. I definitely wanna play this sometime soon. But yeah, man, I, um, I hope you had a great time with this, because I sure did. Until next time, I'll, I'll see ya.